But if I actually think about what I was thinking during that time, every single day I was thinking, oh, they're gonna fire me. They're not gonna like me. I'm not fast enough. This is my first restaurant job. Hey, it's Reese. I'm a mindset and abundance coach and founder of Yes Supply. And I'm so excited about this video because we're about to take you behind the scenes of one of our live trainings. And if you're interested in becoming a coach with Yes Supply, head to yessupply.co slash certified to learn all about our certification trainings. So. Let's jump into it. The thoughts that we are holding in our mind are essentially creating the world around us, right? So we always have choice and we have control over how things are showing up in our life. So I'm thinking back to a time when I had a, my first uh, restaurant job and I, or one of my first restaurant jobs and I really like liked that restaurant job and there was, a, I think, a one-month probation period and I ended up getting fired from it, right? I didn't, I didn't go get through the whole probation period. But if I actually think about what I was thinking during that time, every single day I was thinking, oh, they're gonna fire me. They're not gonna like me. I'm not fast enough. This is my first restaurant job, right? I consciously created that negative outcome, right? We can also consciously create that powerful outcome because I'm willing to bet that if my energy was different and when the managers walked by, instead of cowering and hiding, I actually was you know, upfront and more warm and engaging and had more presence, they'd probably be like, I like her, we're gonna keep her, right? Not that, you know, losing that restaurant job ruined everything for me, but do you know what I mean? It's a good example, okay? Um, one of the other things that I wanna talk about and what we're gonna be getting into this week is how every single thing in our world is all our perception, right? So um, in NLP, we learned that there's 2.3 million bits of information happening around us and that's all it is, information. It doesn't have any meaning until we apply meaning. Um, and so we want to ask ourselves, what meanings are we applying to things? There was someone um, in the last class who said, like, how can I charge that, like, $100 an hour? Like, won't people think that that's expensive? You know, to one person in one class, spending $100 on a session is a lot of money. And to other, lots of other people in the world that have access to more money, oh, if I spend less than $100,000 a month, I'm fine. And he's spending it on going out, partying, having fun, all those different types of things, right? So again, it's all information. It's expensive if you think it's expensive. It's valuable if you think it's valuable. You're good at what you do if you, you think you're good at what you do. You're not good enough if you decide that you're not good enough. We always have the choice. And right now, I've, I think I've reprogrammed a lot of my neural pathways so that the thoughts that go through my head instantly go to the positive outcome, right? Which helps me take risks and help me, helps me make big investments and do things that might seem scary or illogical to a lot of people because my head goes to, well, it's for the greater good. It's for my higher purpose. It's for me to learn the tools and I know that I'll make that money back, right? Or I know that it'll, it'll all work out for me, right? But I had to reprogram myself to think that way. And how I started to reprogram myself is to start to choose the better thought. So when the thought came into my head of, what if this doesn't work out? What if people don't like me? If the thought didn't feel good, then I knew that it wasn't on the vibration of what I wanted to attract into my life, right? So understand that your thoughts hold a vibration. And then when you take action based on that thought, then the action holds the same vibration. So are you going to take the path that feels better and lead to the better feeling outcome? Or are you going to take the path that doesn't feel good oh, they don't like me, it won't work out, it's not good enough, and then lead to that outcome. And you always have the choice and that's how you're consciously creating it. And then it's also cool to look at, they did um, experiments with uh, random number generators. And when the scientists expected for the random number to be picked to be a certain number, to be even or odd, it would always become that. And if they, or if they expected it to be another number to become you know, odd versus even, it would always become that. So it's what we're expecting we're sending that thought vibration out into the universe. We're magnetizing it back to us with our emotions. And then that's what we see in our reality in front of us. And so if you want to change now, don't look at your circumstances to create your vibration. Don't look at your circumstances or your results. Don't look at your bank account in order. Don't look at your bank account to judge how abundant to feel. Instead, choose how much money you want in the bank account. Visualize that it's already there and feel at that level of abundance. And then it will start to show up. Does that make sense? And a lot of the time, which is also something that I really, um, that stuck in my brain when I was first getting started. Um, 
I realized that a lot of the time when we want the success or we want the fame or the money or whatever it is, we want it so that we can feel a certain way. We want to feel secure. We want to feel loved, right? But you don't have to wait for all those things to feel secure or loved. You can decide to feel that right now. It's a state. You can just float down into your body, think of a time, think of a specific time, see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt, feel that now and hold on to that. And then whatever you decide to do from that moment, you're going to feel so much better as you move through it. So remember when we ha all had CD discs and you could burn whatever song onto the CD disc and then you could go listen to it? So from ages zero to seven, you were essentially a blank CD disc. And your parents and your schooling and the TV and whatever it was, was in your life burned onto your disc the program that you're running right now. And your subconscious mind is working to to make sure that your reality matches the internal program. So when you think back to your parents or the people that you grew up around, do are they getting the results that you want? Because those are the ones who are burning in your programs. Mm -hmm.